Hey guys, oh ho ho, it's magic, you know, never believe it's not so, it's magic, you know, never believe it's not so, here with another video. Today, we're going down the proverbial rabbit hole that is the DIY scene on YouTube, more specifically on the videos related to magic. Today in particular, we're going to be taking a look at Troom Troom Select with over 2.6 million subscribers. This is only one of dozens of these DIY channels that are made for absolutely no one. They always have these overblown titles like easy magic life hack number 45 and have the most complicated methods for doing otherwise simple shit that nobody on earth would ever find useful. Take this one where it seems like they hired two Russian hookers to fool a teacher into thinking that a glue stick is a power bank. I'm really condensing this through my clever editing and gigantic penis, but this goes on for several minutes. And the punchline is that the teacher comes over to take away the power bank only to realize that it's a glue stick. That's a good one. Dude, this is some good weed. Dude, this weed is so good. Also, these women look like they're 30 years old, but seem to be going to school in Sesame Street. Anyways, Troom Troom Select has a bunch of videos going over magic tricks in the same style. So I thought today I would look at one called 16 magic tricks that you can do. I have to imagine that somewhere in the sixth circle of hell, they have your eyes open like in clockwork orange and they make you watch these videos on loop while Satan is giving you the wet noodle in the back. So let's look at the first trick presented here and see what we have to look forward to. Why is my ear so itchy? It's probably because the weather's changing. Wait, what's this? A piece of rubber band appears in the ear. I know, I know, I should just let the video play and not interrupt it even though this is technically a commentary video and suck my nuts. But the voice, the voice in this particular video sounds a little bit familiar. And today I have a giant Barbie egg. Oh yeah, it sounds like one of those cancer toy channels that exploits six year olds worse than Nike. For this trick, you need a regular rubber band and some imagination. Cut the rubber band and tie a knot on the end. Place the knot in the shell of the ear. Wrap the free edge and hide it next to the knot. Pull on the band and surprise your friends with your skills. Why? Do you want everyone to know that you're a virgin? I can't imagine anyone is actually gonna do this, let alone an attractive female. So you know it's gonna be left to the birthday party magicians that still think that tail coats are in style. It's never been in style. Also, I still don't understand this ASMR shit. My next video is probably gonna be on ASMR magic. Surprise your friends with a beautiful illusion. Look, I think I'm turning into a flock of butterflies. Draw outlines of these winged beauties with white paint. Paint the space around them black. Make the largest butterfly green and paint the smaller ones lilac, blue, and red. What? Who would ever do this? Where would you ever do this? How can you ever do this? When? When will your audience ever have enough drugs in their system to fall for this? It's the golden ratio of retardation. We already knew that roses have very sharp thorns, but that you can pierce your mouth with a rose. That's new to us. Doesn't it hurt? No, of course. This is just a trick. For the trick, you need an artificial flower with a long stem. Cut two small pieces off from the stem. Attach double-sided tape to a small piece. Attach it on from the outside of the cheek. Put the bigger piece in your mouth. At the right time, place the rose and shock your friends with an unexpected performance. See, the, the ordinary person here might say, when would you have the opportunity to set that up? But no, not me, not old pick kick. That's why you're subscribed here. And if you're not subscribed here, what are you, what are you doing? You're subscribed to other channels? You're probably a fan of Troom Troom Select. And you know what? You should also subscribe to the channel because I do tutorials. I do giveaways. I do all those sorts of things. As a matter of fact, I'm giving away a deck of cards right now. This one in particular, if you look at the description below, you'll find out how to get a signed deck of Jazzy Stripe playing cards signed by the creator. And if you want, I'll even sign the deck myself. Once the litigation goes through, that one might cost a pretty penny. But see, I look at things differently. I look at things beyond what's presented because I'm intelligent and I have common sense. But what are the social implications of this trick? Obviously, the only place you have the opportunity to do this 
would be in your own house to people that come over. But what does that tell your soon to be ex friends that you have time to cut up a fake plastic rose for a silly gag in the hopes that you get a pop from them? What's going to happen when your friends laugh and point at you like you're doing cardistry or if you're Jabrizi doing a rap video? What delicious cookies! It would be so awesome if they never ended. Wow, can dreams really come true? C could you maybe have gotten a better shot? Like I wonder how you could have ever done something like that. Let's see the explanation and see how this clever trick could ever be accomplished. You will need a foam rubber sponge from which you'll cut out a circle and lightly color it and a rubber band. Cut off a piece from the sponge. Cut the elastic band. Using a hot glue gun, attach the elastic band to parts of the sponge. While pretending to bite the yummy, lay the upper half behind the lower half. Bring some acting into it and pretend that you're chewing. Return the piece to its place. Spectators surely won't figure out what's going on. Are you retarded? Are you performing this for, for goldfish? What spectators won't have the common sense to figure out what's going on here? Look, I, I'm no jock or anything, but if you did this trick to me, I would beat you up and take your lunch money. Also, I'd probably have sex with your mom. If you decide to go down the route of 13 reasons why, all the tapes would be about me. Next up, a very sweet trick. Pour a stick of sugar into your hand. Abracadabra, and the sugar disappears. There's a delicious candy appearing on the palm instead. Look, I don't want to sound like some sort of magic snob here, but are the lobster hands required for this trick? It seems like you need to have been born next to a nuclear facility in order to do this trick like it's shown here. Does your mom need to have drank during her pregnancy to do this trick effectively? I think one of the extra materials you need for this trick is an extra chromosome. I could go all day with these. Do, do you, uh, do you need, um, do you need parents that are related in order to do this trick? I think that's it. I think that's the, that's the last one. You need a rubber finger, a piece of candy, and a stick of sugar. Using double-sided tape, attach the finger and the candy to the palm of your hand. Why do you need to tape it to your hand? How would you ever get into this position? Whomst would do this unironically? And this trick can only be done by professional wizards. Light a piece of a napkin on fire. The paper burns up and a ball appears in your hand. The secret is that the ball must be hidden in advance. Hold your hands as if there is nothing in them. The trick looks very impressive. Yeah, if you're retarded. Now, if you aren't a magician, they sell this thing known as uh, flash paper. It's, it's special paper that burns. Uh... See, you, you get the paper, you burn it, it disappears, and your virginity points go up 10 points. But here, this absolute legend, this strong independent woman used what looks like to be a torn up piece of bounty. Why? And what's the punchline? You show a ball appears in your hand. I wonder where this ball could have come from. I feel like this is what happens when you give women rights. That was a joke. That was a joke. Don't get your panties in a knot. I love women. My mom's a woman. So Troom Troom Select also has way more videos and seems to have spread to other languages. I feel like these channels are all ran by some sort of secret globalist society that is using the videos to eventually control the masses or at least the, uh, the bored housewives and teachers that watch these videos. Maybe there's a future of magic. Maybe if I could learn and do one of these tricks, it'll finally get me that attention that I crave from the opposite sex and I'll finally blow th this dry spell. Just kidding, girls are icky. Well, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you stuck it around this long, I'll reward you with this little bit of advice. If you're ever at a store, usually management doesn't have an issue with you advertising your own competitive store as long as you're discreet about it. I'm going to go figure out different ways to use Tic Tacs as tactics to fight the war on drugs. Thank <music> you.